the decision. LeBron James going to the Heat. I was surprised. I thought he was going to stay in Cleveland, but obviously it paid off for him. He won a championship. So. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, had 37 practice opportunities, and through the body of work, um, we felt that uh, Marcus gave us the best shot in, the, in our game, and we opened up against Arkansas State. So Marcus, Marcus earned and won the starting job. How close was it? How long did you guys have to deliberate? We discussed it just like every other position, so I, I couldn't tell you a time or whatever. You know, we didn't take votes, so this wasn't like an election where you know who gave this and who gave that. We, we did, like, sat down with every position and just went through it. How do we rank them? Where we are? And, you know, we're very uh, thorough with every position that we had on our team in terms of what it was. So I don't know the exact time I can tell you on anything. So. And looking at all the the, tw the full 22 practices, like you said back in day one, did you see a lot of that separation that you talked about? I saw se we saw separation, and that's why that's why Marcus is start quarterback. Chip, what what skill set did Marcus bring to the table that maybe Brian didn't? I, I don't think that was the reason. That's got nothing to do with it. It's, it's, the reason is. Right now, going into the Arkansas State game, we think Marcus gives us the best opportunity. So it's not that one guy doesn't have one thing and one guy doesn't have another. I, I still said this. Uh, I think Brian Bennett would start for a lot of universities in this country, and we're very fortunate to have him on our team. So. How do you see his role now? Coach? I see him as our second quarterback. Will he play? I don't know. So no pre plans No, we have no pre-plans for anybody at that position. Just setting the, the two-deep chart, sort of, is that a demarcation in terms of preparing? No, we have competition every single day from now, from the first day you set foot in this program to the last day you leave. So if any kid, and I told everybody yesterday, if you're patting yourself on the back and you came here today and kicked your feet up because you think you're starting, just because eight days before the first game you got your name listed on the two deep means absolutely nothing. We're getting ready to play next Saturday against Arkansas State. The best guys are going to play against Arkansas State. That's our job. Our job is to go out next Saturday and win. So. What excites you most about Marcus playing now being the starter? I don't, that's not a word I use. I'm not, I mean, I'm just ready to go play Arkansas State. So I'm not excited, not de excited. That's not our feelings of like, you know, we picked this guy, so we're giddy. It's this, this is how the process works. And it's the same process at every position on our team. So. This was the first day of game prep, right? Yep. How did that go? We had an outstanding day. And that's, a, you know, a real credit to these guys. They came back and their focus was, you know, 100%. It was the first time we got into scouts. Um, but I, I thought the looks that we got on both sides of the ball, I thought our guys' um, understanding of what game week is supposed to be like, I was really, really impressed with them. So obviously the older guys must have done a good job in the locker room explaining how we want this thing to look. And uh, it, it, for a Monday, and this is what today was for us, on Monday practice, it was outstanding. It seemed like the attitude across the board was still the same, even from guys who may have been disappointed that they didn't win a yeah, position If someone's disappointed, then that's their fault. You don't get disappointed. You just look at it as a challenge. You know, I mean, that's the way we've always looked at it because, again, it's competition every day. So, and I didn't see one kid out there, no matter who it was at any position, hanging their heads. I saw kids flying around, and that's what that's what's great about this team because the ultimate thing is that we get judged that as a team is do we win and do we lose? You know, no one asks you, hey, you played at such and such school, what was your record? Is you know, what did you, what position did you play and did you start? I mean, that's way down the list, and that's not really a priority for anybody in terms of the ultimate goal for us is to go out and win next Saturday against Arkansas State. So Ten win team last year, Arkansas State. Any quick thoughts on, on that? Yeah, uh, a lot of talent, you know, obviously a real good team. Hugh Trees was there uh, and then left. And then obviously we know Gus because uh, Gus was the offensive coordinator at Auburn. You know, one really, really respected as an offensive coordinator. The difficult thing, for, I think, for everybody is trying to figure out what exactly they are because you can't look at Arkansas State film because they're not going to run the same offense, same defense, or same special teams. But you do have to look at it to get personnel. Their defensive coordinator came from Georgia State, so we got to watch Georgia State film to kind of look at what they're doing defensively. I know Nick and our staff on defense are watching Auburn tape to see what they're going to do offensively. So whenever you're playing a, a first-year coach early, you know, there's some unknowns in terms of exactly what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. So it, it, from a preparation standpoint, um, not that the opponent's any easier, but when you go play somebody in game five, it's easier to prepare for a game five team than it is for a game one team when the coaching staff has changed. And that's a, you know, something that we're adjusting to right now and a lot more film study because there's a lot of different films you got to watch. Um, but when you look at it, it it's interesting. In, in our first five games, four of them are first-year coaches at that, at that place. Fresno's got a new coach. Uh, Arizona's got a new coach, Washington State's got a new coach, so um, we, we got some, you know, kind of some of the old things where you kind of had a book on somebody that you played if you were going to play, you know, such and such. Well, we've been against them for three years, and this is kind of what their scheme is. A lot of that's out the window, and uh, certainly out the window in this situation. So. How, did you, how did you tell Brian and Marcus who was going to be the starters? Brought them in, sat them down, and Together? 
No. Individually. Yeah. How much will Rashad, uh, Rashad Vaughn be in the rotation of the I don't know. That's what we, we figure out between now and Friday. So, again, that what was set out is we were told we had to send a two deep out eight days before the game. So we sent a two deep out eight days before the game. We'll see where that is before we get to the game. And that, that that's an ever-changing thing. But the person who controls that is the person who, A, was on it and is going to stay on it, or B, is not on it and has to work his way into it. So. Did you feel like you had a disappointing camp? No, I felt like we got a lot of competition, and you can only list two. So. No one asked me to send out a three deep or a four deep or a five deep, so we sent out a two deep. So those other guys, I think, are really playing at a high level right now. And as I told every kid on the team yesterday, it's the same exact thing. If you're not the two deep today and you're disappointed about it, you got eight days to get yourself into the two deep. And if you're in the two deep right now and you pat yourself on the back and think you can kick your feet up, and I think there's going to be some people who are going to pass you on by. So, is there anybody when you once you said that two deep? Is there anyone throughout the duration of camp that surprised you? No. No. I mean, that's why we use, we had 37 practice opportunities, except for the two freshmen. We had 22 with them. So that's why we've always done it this way and we'll always continue to do it this way. When you have to make big decisions like this, you better take all the information possible. And, you know, I got questions, well, why don't you name a quarterback after spring ball? Why would I name a quarterback after spring ball? We don't have a game in May. You know, there's no reason to do that. And when you got to make a big decision, we're going to take all the information and all the time we have, gather it, and then make the decision when we have to make it based upon everything that we've done. So. Chip off, what did you see? Marcus offer a running role that more than you had the past couple of years? I, I, I don't know, you know, until we get into games and kind of see how people are going to defend us. Because a lot of times, you know, we got that question a lot. Well, why doesn't Darren carry the ball? Because no one made Darren carry the ball. And when teams made Darren carry the ball, Stanford did it two years ago. He ran for 300 ran for one, and ran for 100. So it just depends what our role for our quarterback really becomes is how do defenses decide to uh, deploy themselves. And sometimes, we look at it and go, oh, it's interesting. They're going to let us do this, so we'll just continue to do that. So um, how much our quarterback carries the ball in the game and doesn't carry the ball in the game is never, we never go in and have X amount of snaps or, or X amount of times he's got to have it in his hands. We go, how does the defense going to defend us? And if that's how they're going to defend us, then our plan is such. So. A little bit off top, topic, but how did uh, all the Zoom must get into gas? Must have been an escape or something. I don't know. I walked out to go to the bathroom and there was alligators and there was a monkey, and there was a turtle, and there was what else were the animals in there, Jill? A couple snakes? Lizards, and iguanas. Lizards, iguanas. Tarantula. So it was a good, uh, you know, some of our kids on our team never get an opportunity to see things like that. So we're about enhancing their cultural experiences here. They've got, they got them enhanced yesterday. I know I got mine enhanced yesterday when Kenyon walked into my office with a boa constrictor around his neck. So. Chip, when will you get the, the meat of the uh, game planning? Today? We're in. Game week starts. We didn't hear you. Yeah. No, they asked, she asked if we were in game week. It's Monday. This is Monday of game week. We just had our first practice, and we'll have film this afternoon. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll sit down with staff and watch all of our practice tape today. And uh, we got meetings tonight at 5 o'clock. And, and today is Monday for us of game week for Arkansas State. So. Anything else? Thanks, okay. Thank you.